Today we're at a, it's like a half day at Screw a Circuit. They do the grip session in the morning and then from one to four, it's uh, just drift and it's just open. So you get three hours of just track time. So, and we get to sleep in, so that's cool. Today we just really want to just throw the car in, like some entry stuff and see how the front end feels because I'm still getting dry, really dry. And, uh, the punch up max and the changes that I've made since the last time I had punch up max. So I couldn't really sit on lock four. I would do a bunch of weird stuff and find and so yeah, today we're pretty much the only job is just to test that. You know the rest of the car is good. Um, and yeah, I guess just we're going to find out pretty quickly if it's going to work or not. So if it works then we'll just have a bunch of fun. If it doesn't work then I'll just try some stuff and I think I'll also drop the car as is but then had some remarks about removing the wing so I'm gonna just pop that off quickly and see if that makes a difference or not or to how the car moves if not put it back on I think it looks better with it on but yeah so these DG5s when I put them in um, one of the I bought them used and one of the rear ones wouldn't adjust the damper so Sort of thought I had to send them back to the G5 and then I ended up just pulling the top apart and I nothing was actually broken I didn't really know what I did but I put it back together and now it works so and it is softer so yeah so today we have Pacho Max with like the refined settings we have rear shocks that are actually not fully hard like they were so the rear end can move around now and assuming all that works well we'll pop the wing off see what difference that makes and yeah just have some fun I thought my door handle broke down, I shit myself. <laughs> the wheel 
So whether that's coming through the hose or... I don't know. <laughs> I need to find out. Maybe get Nikki in there and press the pedal in a second and see if it's leaking. But the brakes feel fine. Um, I'm not 100% confident it's brake fluid, but I don't know what else it could be in there. So I'll have a look. It's pedal feels great. see any fresh hitting marks and there's no more brake fluid everywhere so I guess whatever was happening isn't happening anymore but because uh, we're about to reverse the track I'll now be entering right so the wheels will go left so any fresh marks I'll be able to see on the left side so I, I obviously matched I reduced the lock on this side and I changed it on the other side to suit so um, yeah this side looks good but we'll just double check the other side now I'm about to change direction so.
so our electrical gremlin has found us again. It's uh, actually feels exactly the same as it used to. So I thought I had a fix, but um, as soon as we threw it into that right hander, it just cut off immediately. Um, exactly what it used to do. Like no different, no better, no worse, exactly the same. So um, I had run this new earth straight to the body because I found that this one was, this is the OEM one. And it was um like when I, it's actually not that good either. Actually, no, it's just the outside. Um, so that was originally really corroded and shit. So put the new one on, then it seemed fine. But to be fair, we never really did any like right corners. Um, and then sure enough, today straight in, cuts off. So I've left the new one I made, and I've added back on the OEM earth. So that's like the main earth for the car. Um, don't know what else that goes to because it goes into the harness. So maybe I having it off hits something off so yeah we'll just put everything back on and try it again i guess or so it does it again then i don't know we've got to look for something big because it's like shutting the entire car off we've also got a weird i don't even know what you call that bubbles in the tire that's the first time i've seen that with Lilino. It's not sure what's going on but had them at one bar hot so they shouldn't be doing anything weird but yeah, something to keep an eye on because they're pretty much new, so that'll be annoying if they let go. But here's what it is.
got some reverse direction in, but yeah, we couldn't figure out that electrical problem. Um, had the car here running, tried to like shut it off by just like jiggling everything electrical, and no matter what I do, no matter what I shake, it doesn't turn off. So, had a look at the log on the Haltech, nothing nothing's telling it to turn off obviously it, it can't turn off the whole car anyway like it's turning off body harness and the health deck harness which is separate so um, pretty confident it's just a connection somewhere or something touching something else but yeah I just can't find it so I don't know what to do because next round's at Bihoku which is a right corner and I need to be able to throw the car in and get on the throttle because there's gonna be a wall behind me so yeah have to do some some diving into this and get to the bottom of it because <laughs> I thought it was fixed but we've actually never done any really aggressive driving into a right corner uh, so yeah it's showing itself again so we gotta I don't know how to find it but <laughs> yeah find a way um, but it's not all bad news because the front obviously feels amazing um, even just then I could throw the car in came back really quickly um, I wanted to get on throttle, but there's no, no engines there. Uh, but yeah, it's touching on a couple of things. Uh, there are some other things I know I can cut on the front of this kit that I haven't done on this one yet. Because I'm, I've got so much inner clearance compared to before, I thought it'd be fine. But yeah, just gotta trim a few things. And the front's perfect. It's, um, I've actually took a bit of lock out of it, I don't know if I said earlier, but um, it still feels the same, but I don't know if there's any difference. So I don't think I was ever battling like a lack of lock, it was more of just a bad grip balance and geometry stuff, so actually very happy with the car, it's just this turning off thing, it's a bit frustrating, it's been around for like a year now, so <laughs> um, yeah, gonna have to ask some questions to some more knowledgeable people I guess about what, what could possibly be turning the whole car off, so yeah, it's hard to a bit frustrating because that was the end of the day so now it's like I know there's an issue with the car going into another round but everything else is amazing I feel I, like the way it drives feels great very happy with it power's great grip's great the rear shocks made a big difference being able to actually adjust them yeah we've got to make it stop turning off and my seat didn't break today <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> so yeah just like uh, get this electrical bug sorted and we'll be a pretty good competitor I think I'm pretty feeling much more confident in the car after today. So that's good.